If you want the physique of a fitness model with the performance of an athlete, I'm gonna show you how to get it. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Funk Roberts from FunkRobertsFitness.com, FunkMMA.com, and today I'm gonna to take you through a workout that's gonna give you the physique of a fitness model while giving you that performance of an athlete. Because that's what I always want. I wanna look lean and ripped like a fitness model on stage, but also be able to move, be agile and powerful like an athlete. So what I've done is I put together what I call my metabolic grinder workout. And the only reason why I'm calling it a grinder is because you're gonna grind through two different sets of metabolic uh, HIIT workouts. So the first exercise, this first set, you're gonna do four exercises. Perform each exercise for 60 seconds of work, followed by 15 seconds rest, one after the other. Once you're done all four exercises, you're gonna rest for a minute and then repeat for three rounds. So that's gonna be brutal. But after you're done that set, it's not over. You rest for two more minutes and then repeat for the second set of exercise. Again, another four. What I've done here is I've, I've put together hyper hypertrophy exercises with hybrid exercises, with athletic exercises. Again, to fuse together a grinder workout that's gonna help you get the physique of a fitness model while having the performance of an athlete. Okay, are you guys ready? Let me take you through this workout right now. Like I always say, it's your turn to get it done. For each circuit, you're gonna perform all four exercises, one after the other for 60 seconds of work, followed by 15 seconds rest, again, one after the other. Once you're done all four exercises, you rest for one minute and repeat for three full rounds. After you're done circuit one, rest for two minutes and repeat exactly the same thing for circuit number two. Are you ready? Let's get it done. The first exercise of the workout is squat to front dumbbell raise. Now, with this exercise, you're gonna go into a squat, make sure that you go back into a squat and sit back and not forward, and then you're gonna raise the dumbbell, so it's a hybrid movement, two movements at once. Once again, you're gonna have to make sure that your core's tight, you gotta keep your back straight, embrace that core, and do not lean forward. Try to use a weight that's, um, that's challenging, but it'll help you and allow you to raise. This is quad dominant, you'll feel it in the, in the delts, and you'll definitely feel this in the chest uh, make sure you raise that uh, dumbbell to shoulder height next exercise reverse lunge to bicep curl another hybrid movement quad dominant stability and core is what we have to focus on now with this movement in after we do the reverse lunge then at the bottom of the movement we're going to curl up be keeping our body tall keeping the shoulders back when we curl and again you're going to really have to focus on uh, keeping stability make sure that that back knee does not touch the ground and use the front leg to push off with each move first two exercises we focus on the anterior chain now we're going to go with the posterior chain with the snatch to burpee once again it's a hybrid movement so here we're going to focus on snatching the dumbbell all the way up bringing it down and right away going back into a burpee now we're not going to go all the way down to the ground we're just going back fast and up fast because we'll be doing other exercises to focus on the chest but here it's an explosive movement so we got to make sure that we focus on pulling and and really snatching that dumbbell all the way up. We wanna use a weight that is challenging, but remember, we're doing this for 60 seconds, and we also are adding that burpee, so you are gonna be tired, so you really have to focus on using the entire body to snatch the dumbbell. Our final exercise in this circuit is bear position rows. Now, I like this one because now we're going into a bear position, not like a plank, but we are in a quad, uh, quad position. So our knees are slightly off the ground, our torso's tight so that we can keep the hips straight and level, and we really have to have stability as we're rowing up the, the dumbbell. So the stability will come from the posted weight, the posted arm that's on the dumbbell. We're rowing back to our hips, but again, we have to really focus on keeping the body as still as we can while we're in this bare position. Core's gotta be tight. Uh, exhaling on the way up and rolling that dumbbell, uh, making sure we roll the dumbbell by the hips.
The first exercise in the second set is called the curtsy lunge or goblet meet the queens. I like this exercise because it has us moving a transverse movement. Uh, we need to focus on that front leg doing the work, keeping our body nice and tall because we have, of course, that weight that's trying to pull us forward. Um, I like this movement again because we have single leg strength. We're working on core stability, full strength, coordination, and of course, the glutes are going to be doing the work. Make sure that you step as far to the side as you can because, again, you'll feel that in the glutes but you also feel it in the front quad as it's doing the work the next exercise are dumbbell skier swings now this exercise is another swing variation but again it's posterior and quad dominant now you keep your feet shoulder width apart push your hips back with your hamstrings back and then explode up with your hips moving forward and at the top of the movement you need to squeeze those glutes um, at the top of each movement again you'll feel this in the glutes but you also feel this in the quads and just think of your arms as pendulums you're not raising the dumbbells with your arms but you're using the momentum and the hips to raise the dumbbell third exercise are what i call my pass 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 press man this is going to be a tough exercise but i like it because it's very athletic so as you can see here i'm passing or pressing the dumbbell straight to the side we're rotating our hips and rotating that back leg and then again we press straight up in the air so you're going to feel this in the upper body you're going to feel this in the shoulders you're going to uh, feel this in your core as you rotate but make sure you rotate that back leg and that back foot with each press Again, you feel this in the chest, breathe out every time that you press to ensure that you get the oxygen into the body so you can perform this full exercise. Now the final exercise we're doing are double chest press and double crush press. Now our, sh our chests are going to be and shoulders are already going to be taxed from the last exercise, but here it's pretty simple. Basically what you're doing is you're doing a dumbbell uh, floor press, chest press straight up above the eyes, and then you do the crush press, um, two of each one. And again, I want to use a weight that's probably about you know 50 to 60 percent because we're doing this for 60 seconds so your chest is going to be uh, definitely fatigued but you really have to focus on uh, exploding up moving as fast as you can and uh, exhaling on the way up with each movement So there you have it guys, great metabolic grinder workout. It may look easy on paper but I'm telling you right now it's going to be very tough. You want to use weight that is challenging but you also want to move fast through each exercise because we want to get it metabolic. The, exercise, the workouts should take you no longer than 40 minutes because that's when the cortisol levels rise. We, want, we don't want to go higher and longer than 40 minutes, so we've got a nice 35 minute workout, high intensity, fusing metabolic, hypertrophy, and hybrid exercises to put an awesome workout together. Guys, please like this, share this, leave your comments below, let me know what you think of this, and make sure that you download my app, my fitness app, Funk Roberts Fitness app on iTunes. Grab that because you'll be able to work out with me, follow along workouts with the Funkster. Anyways, I'm done talking, now it's your turn to get, this, get to the gym, put this workout into play, and get it done. I'll see you next Monday.